uh, was established by President Roosevelt in 1935 as part of the New Deal. And this was part of the efforts of getting rid of the Depression. You know, this, all the stuff that he did, this got wrapped into that. And it covers 90% of all jobs. It does not cover every job. So not every job you ever have will contribute to Social Security. For example, teachers in California have such a strong union and they have such an amazing pension that they don't pay Social Security because the pension overrides Social Security. So they don't contribute into Social Security and when they retire, they do not receive Social Security. Um, unless, of course, they contributed beforehand. If you contribute before you're a teacher, then you still have whatever that contribution is, but during your career of a teacher, you don't. Um, it provides income to people after they retire. 65 is the minimum age to receive Social Security. Or if you are disabled, permanently disabled or even temporarily disabled, you can apply for Social Security. Um, and then surviving family members can receive Social Security with certain time limits. For example, if a parent passes away and their children are under 18, those kids receive their Social Security benefits until they turn 18. Or if you're married and you're retirement age and you pass away, your spouse can receive your Social Security benefits for however long. Um, these are all paid for by employee contributions, so you pay into Social Security every paycheck. Uh -huh. FICA. FICA is the Federal Insurance Contribution Act. Social Security is considered to be a retirement insurance or a disability insurance. Um, this is the federal law that created Social Security that was part of the New Deal. FICA taxes are the taxes that pay for Social Security and Medicare. Um, Social Security came first, Medicare came a little after. Social Security pays for retirement and disability. So what happens is everybody that's paying Social Security right now, that money is going to the people that are collecting Social Security right now. So we're paying now for other people to get it. And then later, other people will be paying for us to get it. That's not the original way it was supposed to be set up. Originally, the way it's set up is we put the money in, and then when we retire, we get our own money back out. But uh, back in the 80s, that changed with deregulation. Um, and so now we pay in for other people to be collecting, and then later other people will be paying in what we collect. Um, there are income limits on Social Security, which means that if you make over a certain amount of income, they don't tax that anymore. And the current income limit is, I believe, $106,800, but it may have changed, but I'm pretty sure that's close. So you have to make over $106,000 before you stop being taxed. So if you make $200,000 a year, you get all that without tax at the end. Um, Medicare tax pays for medical care upon retirement. Now, it doesn't pay for all of your medical care. It's a medical insurance, so you still have co-pays and all that stuff, deductibles. Um, it does come out of your income as income deductions, and there are no income limits. So if you make $50,000, $500,000, $50 million in a year, it's all going to be taxed for Medicare. changes from year to year. Some years it won't change. So it could be 118500 this year and next year and the year after and then they might change it again. Last year it was less, this year it's more. Um, and who knows what it'll be next year. That, that's up to Congress. But right now for 2015, income up to 118500 gets taxed for Social Security. Anything over that. So if you make 118501 that $1 over won't be taxed. So anything over that won't be taxed. The percentage is 6.2%, and it has been 6.2% for a really long time, so I don't see it changing anytime soon. Um, 
and then Medicare has no maximums. So it does not matter how much money you make. If you make $900 million this year, it's all going to be taxed. Any amount. There's no, there's no income maximum on Medicare. Um, yeah, I mean, not really worried about it either. But um, your Social Security number is a nine-digit number identifier used for tax purposes. Everybody has their own individual number. Um, it's used for Social Security, Medicare, income tax, and also for credit information. And just in case anybody was wondering, almost done. All right, we have a maximum taxable income for Social Security of 94200 his earnings were seventy six or seventy three thousand two hundred ten, so he's below the maximum. So his entire income is going to get taxed. Okay, so he's going to get six point two percent. So that's point zero six two of his seventy three thousand two hundred ten is Social Security, and then one point five percent for Medicare. So that's 0 0.0145. So this is going to be 4,539.02, and this is 1,061.55 rounded. So all in total, if you add them together, you have 5,657. Now, this does not include income tax. And this is not refundable in a tax return. Okay. In theory, the way it's meant to work is that you now get this money back when you retire in the term form of medical coverage and retirement benefits. Okay. Okay. In 1988, Social Security was 7.51%, so it was actually higher in 88 than it is now. And that was um, associated with, you know, the, the economy in the 80s was really high. I don't know if you guys know that. And then the 90s was a major recession. Um, but in the 80s, it was kind of almost like what happened before the Great Depression. It was a lot of excess. The economy was doing amazing. People were making a ton of money. People were spending a ton of money. Interest rates were through the roof. And so the Social Security percentage was higher. But after everything kind of crashed, now it didn't crash as much as during the Depression, but it was a major recession. So it was close to Depression levels. It was. Um, Comparing the early 90s to 2008 in the economy, very similar. I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't know which one was worse, but I'm thinking the 90s might have been a little worse. But in 1988, we had a maximum income of 45,000, but Grace earned 51,000. So she earned over the maximum. So all that money over the maximum is not going to get taxed. So she's only going to get taxed up to the 45000 So we take that 45000 maximum and multiply it by the percentage at the time, which was 7.5%. And we get 3379 Now the amount over the 45000 still got taxed for Medicare and still gets taxed for income tax. No maximum on income tax either. They're going to tax you for every penny you make on income tax.